There is a saying, out of sight, out of mind. And nowhere is this more applicable than when a child is still in the womb of its mother. Very often, we don't take note of that sufficiently and behave in ways which may not be befitting in front of children. We know very well now, through modern science, that the child hears very well parents and recognises their voices even before birth. We know full well that the mother's diet, and God forbid should there be alcoholism or addiction, affects the child profoundly. So we know that the influence is very, very real, although the child is out of sight. Now, and Parish has told us this week, we have a situation of Rivka, who is to become Jacob's mother, once Jacob and Esau are born, and she has a difficult pregnancy to the point that she's in such pain that she wishes that she weren't pregnant at all. Why is that? So the Torah tells us that there is in fact within her womb a battle going on. One of the children, whenever the, the, there happens to be a, a way where the mother passes places of ill repute, wants to jump out. And when the mother passes places like synagogues and uh, positive uh, uh, areas, the other child wants to jump out, and that tension within causes that kind of great discomfort. So be very careful in terms of the way in which we create the milieu around our children and even our unborn children. Because at the end of the day, you and I begin to shape the future of the child, even when it is out of sight and might be therefore out of mind, but it's very, very much there.